everyone, this is Basil the Ortho Biker. So let's go ahead and clear the air right now. Yes, this winter sucked. No, I didn't die. No, I didn't quit riding. Yes, I've got modifications to the bike. And yes, I've got a motorcycle road trip planned this year and it's next month actually. But let's go ahead and talk about where I've been, where I am now and where we're going. Looks like it's gonna rain. I didn't check the radar before leaving work. That was a dumb idea. Eh, it looks like it's far enough away. Winter doesn't kill me, the rain will. So first uh, point of note is I have a different helmet now. I'm really hoping that when I get on the highway and at any other time in any video from here on out, the audio quality will be better because this helmet is about twice as much as the last one I got it on sale. And it feels like a luxury helmet by comparison to what I had before. Now this isn't a knock against Bell helmets. They make good helmets, good money for what you get with them. But I, I gotta admit, the DLX is pretty loud. I've got a showy helmet now. Uh, I got it on sale. It was. I put it on my credit card because, goodness, I did not have the money, but I needed it because my bell was starting to fall apart. The visor just flew off randomly at one point while riding down the highway, and that's not kosher. So, and that just, I really hope the audio is better. It's keeping my head safe, keeping the audio safe, keeping the video going. So let's go ahead and talk about this winter. Yes, it's Arkansas. It snowed. Uh, usually it snows once, maybe two times. First time it snowed, it, you know, in usual Arkansas fashion, it went away after a couple days. And then it rained. And then another snowstorm came, and all that rain plus the snow turned into ice. We had like a week of ice on the road. Hello. And that kind of made riding a little bit annoying. But then we went from needing coats to boats because it just rained nonstop like a week or two after that. This winter was very cold and very wet. Not the dry winter we usually have. But at least it wasn't a snow apocalypse we had, like we had in the past. But well, let's go ahead and get on to the other issues that kept me off the road for, what, nearly six months? It's been about six months since I uh, posted a video. Most of that's because I've been sick, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and run through the list. I've had five illnesses back to back, and I'm still technically dealing with the last one, but over-the-counter meds are keeping me uh, in a comfortable position for now until a long-term solution uh, goes into effect. But I had middle of January, maybe late January, I was cooking breakfast at the stove and gravity shifted 90 degrees and it was, it was just, it was horrible. I, I ended up on the floor and vomiting. I had to have somebody take me to the hospital and it was, it was trying, I couldn't tell them my boss or not. I thought I saw black teeth. Anyways, it, it's, it was just really bad. And I was down for about three weeks. And then I took another week just to make sure it wasn't gonna happen again and make sure I was my balance was there. I couldn't walk a straight line for like two weeks. It was dumb. I felt like I was perpetually drunk. And then after the vertigo, I had pneumonia and that took my voice out almost instantly and I couldn't talk for like a month and I had what you know horrible pneumonia for most of like the month and it came on super fast that morning I just felt like I had a, like a, a cough then it quickly turned to what felt like bronchitis and I knew where that was going I've had pneumonia more than a dozen times I know the symptoms and if I had not gotten the shots when I did, I probably would have ended up in the hospital that night and would have been a lot worse off than when I was. I was down for, like hard down for like four days and then recovering for like a month. It was, oh, it was horrible. Then after that, I think by virtue of the anti-inflammatories they had me had, I had an esophageal spasm that felt like a heart attack. Even the hospital thought I was having a heart attack. Uh, and I went to the ER for that and they gave me a whole bunch of pills for you know GERDs and acid reflux But after I stopped the anti-inflammatories 
the, that problem went away on its own. And then after that, I had pleurisy of the left lung. You know, breathing in and feeling like you're being stabbed with a hot knife every time you take a breath is not really my idea of fun. <laughs> so, that lasted for about a month. And I'm so glad that that's gone, but I'm still feeling some after effects. Uh, Lung-wise, respiratory-wise, whatever you want to call it. Um, from both of those issues. But I won't go into detail on that. And the last and final issue, I, ain't nobody preparing you for that. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, it's... For a good, I say three quarters of the last six months, I have been sick. It's, it's been bad, guys. So I didn't leave YouTube. I wasn't ignoring you guys. I just couldn't do anything. Let's talk about the motorcycle, though, since this is, after all, a motorcycle uh, YouTube channel. So yes, I finally did the chain conversion. It looks beautiful. I got it for looks. And I got it because it's easy to change out on the road if it happens to break, unlike a belt. I don't carry, a, you know, an extra belt with me. Besides, belts are for pants, not sportsters. Oh, I swear I'm cursed on every video. I get stuck behind somebody going really slow. Come on. Come on. Get him away. You can do it. Yay! So yeah, I got the belt on the bike. Sorry, belt. <laughs> I got the chain on the bike. Uh, I also have got a new sissy bar. One that's a bit taller than the one I had before. Which, the hardware that came with the new sissy bar was infinitely better than the one that came with the TC Bros. The nuts, nut plates that came with the TC Bros sissy bar was barely gripping the bolts. And I was always paranoid those things were going to fall off on their own. And one of them actually was like finger you know, finger tight when I took it off, so good timing because it probably would have fell off from the, uh, eventually. But the new sissy bar is for a new dry bag I got, which is taller, that supposedly carries more stuff than my last sissy bar bag. And not that there's anything wrong with my last sissy bar bag. I like it, it's functional, but dealing with a rain fly on an overstuffed bag when it's about to rain is not exactly fun and I will note the GoPro just turned off back there I'm not entirely sure why it must have mistook something I said as a voice command to stop doing what it's supposed to be doing anyways this may take a minute a few moments later sissy bar we got the chain there's been no real other modifications to the bike besides that I don't think I really have much planned for the bike um, other than the big bore kit and that's gonna be a further down the road thing because that's an expensive upgrade and I'm not a rich person so what do we got planned for the uh, the future well my motorcycle road trip I try to take one year at least and it's coming up next month I'm going to Adam Sandoval's Southern American Rally at the Cave River Campground in Moyers, Oklahoma. And, oh, I got camping gear. I forgot to mention that. Last year I did say that uh, this year is going to be the year of camping, and I did get camping gear. I got a motorcycle tent. Uh, I got an Exped air mattress, which was on sale, and I got a killer deal on it. It was like 60% off. Uh, and I believe... I also got a summer weight synthetic quilt which I tested out on my bed, and it's actually pretty comfortable, if not a bit slippery. But uh, it compact, it packs small and compact. I can pack everything inside the uh, Viking bags. Quick release saddlebags. Oh, sorry, so I forgot that. I got a saddlebag for the motorcycle as well. That's uh, another modification. The hardware is not too obtrusive. And I was going to get one for the right side, but they sold out. 
So I've only got one for the left side, but my idea is to keep all the camping gear packed on the saddlebags and just, uh, you know, if one I want to go camping, clip them on, put some clothes in the roll bag or in the dry bag and go. That's the idea anyways. We'll see how that works out. So yeah, I'm going to go camping at the Moyers, Oklahoma, at the uh, rally. Then I'm going to go down to Copper's Cove, Texas, to see my friend Murphy for a few days. Go see the Alamo. That's that's the main thing I'm going to Texas. Well, no, I'm sorry. Sorry, Murphy. You're the main reason I'm going down there, but I want to see the Alamo one down there. And after that, I'm going to Houston to see my only uh, spiritual child, so to speak, uh, Seraphim, who I wrote down two years ago to sponsor into the church. Assuming Houston has not floated away by the time I get there. And then I'll be coming back here. Oh, while I'm in Houston. And while I'm in Houston, I'm going to the Cider Cave. A place that he told me about on my last day there and was too late to go. $12 to get in. 275 arcade games. All you can play. With a bar and food. That sounds like an all-day event to me. <laughs> And then I'll be heading back to Arkansas after that. This will probably be the cheapest road trip I've done so far because there are no hotels involved. I saved the last day coming back, pardon me, the last leg of the trip coming back where I'll be staying a night in Texarkana. Everything else I'll be staying with friends or camping. So I know I've been kind of rambling on this, but this is more of an update video. Just kind of catching everybody up to what's been going on and to let YouTube know that hey I'm still here don't forget about me I gotta tell you guys when my videos stop posting weekly the uh, YouTube algorithm kicked me in the nuts it just uh, it wasn't good but if you're new to this channel make sure you hit the like subscribe and the bell icon so you get notifications of any videos I may put on in the future I don't know if I can put out a video every week like I was before. I mean, I'm going to admit, that's kind of a slog when you're working 50 hours a week, plus a, a second sort of part-time slash full-time job. Hard to explain. But I will do my best to put out videos when I can, as often as I can, and continue to show you guys the beauty of the Ozarks. Hello! But for now, I'm going to go ahead and finish this ride. It's really starting to cool off, so I think there is some rain moving in. But for now, you guys, keep it safe. Get the two wheels on the ground, the shiny side up, and ride safe. Oh no, it was a raindrop. Go away, run! What a world, what a world, I'm melting. Always when I don't have rain gear on my bike.